Greetings and salutations, my name is JW608, today we're playing Star Maid. And, um, I did a bit of a bomb test on my own. Um, this is two, uh, this is what, 250, 2000, hold on. That's 25,000, 25,000? 25, yeah, uh, roughly. 25,000 missile missile uh, with a million power. It takes a million power to actually fire this thing. So let's see. Okay. Let's see, and I have been getting one shot before it really freaks out and after reset it. This is something I just did offline. Uh, I guess if we bring in a suitable target. Return to it. Lag out. There you go. It's just seeing scalability of the missile missile. And actually, to be honest, I don't think it packs as much punch as for the, the cost of it. But, well, the real benefit is going to be bypassing shields. But anyway, let's see here. Uh, let's go straight for the the indicator thing. Oh, no, no. I'd like a button to let me deselect something. There we go. I don't want it to be my AI target either. There we go. All right. V. Let's rotate just a bit. V. V is a uh, uh, stop rotating button, I think. Cool. And there is a 25 thousand module missile missile or the bomb and yeah that doesn't do a lot of damage I mean look at that that that's just piddly uh, took out only took out what thirteen percent of the reactor can you believe that that's all that a million power gives you. million power dedicated just to run this, or charge this bomb. And it's cranky with that. And this is it. I mean, it just takes an enormous chunk out of a, out of a, uh, uh, a frigate. Oh, let's see. Well, give me a second shot. Last time I tried this, it, uh, the game said, oh, no, 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 no. I want to fire a second missile. Let's see if it's feeling better today. Yep, it's feeling better today. It, that's it. It just bypasses shields and takes a, a tiny little chunk out of things. I mean, is that even enough to call it damage? I don't know. See, it didn't even didn't even brick the power system. So you got uh, reactors, bits here and there. Actually. That should have bricked the power system. There shouldn't be half the reactor left. Especially if all these are going down to nothing. Okay. Well, these stabilizers are looking for nothing. And you got a handful of powers. Power things. Ah. Let's try lobbing one in the inside. There we go. Yeah, right there, maybe. It's just kind of disappointing that this thing does so little damage. And boop, boop. Still, and it still has 53% of its reactor left. How does it have 53% of its reactor? Its reactor is totally gone. That com this confuses me. Huh. But I don't think for um, for my my bomber initial bomber, I don't think we're gonna scale this big. Although that is actually kind of impressive. It's taking out three shots, kill a a frigate, and who knows how much HP one of these bombs has. And it's It'll be a substantial amount. It's not going to get shot down particularly easily. But I was just 
tinkering around and thought, oh, why not? Let's build an overkill bomb. I didn't want to get too overkill. I need to throw this together in like five minutes. You can see it's just blocks of stuff. So I just did a million power. I am also going to have to figure out better tactics for bomb launching. See, that, that would have ruined my day if I was a the frigate and that hit me. All of a sudden, I've lost most of... Uh, most of this weapon system. Still got a little chunk there. Uh, lost a good chunk of stabilization, thrusters, a good chunk of the beam. Uh, these modules are now basically gone. What happened here? Okay. Random miniature explosion inside. And all my systems are now showing. And of course, the damage I've sustained earlier means means that uh, I don't have any more shielding because my power is not good enough. So all these squishy systems are free to shoot. Hmm. All right. Let's see. Oh, all right. One more shot before we actually get something done today. We might not get anything done today. I'm just shooting things. Oh, there you go. Although I would honestly like to know where it's figuring out it has 48.7% of its reactor. Because its reactor was right here-ish. It ain't got no reactor no more. And it has this bit here. And this little bit here. Those are the only reactor blocks left. How does it figure it has 48% of it remaining? I don't know. We'll take care of it. Let's see. Although the uh, the explosion damage or the yeah the explosion damage has increased substantially, because in the past a uh, a hit like this, all these calculations, I would have got warning server under heavy load, warning server under heavy load. Then I'd have to respawn everything because it would stop doing damage about here. 33%. Did you, like, reboot while I wasn't looking? Okay. Now this is just making me cranky. And my nose is snuffy because of allergies, so extra cranky, I guess. I'm going to try to brick this thing. Also, these power sausage is going to nowhere, which is fine, because the power sausages are going nowhere. <laughs> I can't wait for that update. Yeah, I know I can go on the dev build, but I am not going to. Okay, come on. Let's see. Do, 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 do. All right, let's see. 100% power, and... Bombs away. And it still claims it has 33% of its reactor. That is something I don't understand. Because there are no more reactor blocks remaining. Uh, v, R, uh, F, no. Oh. Uh, there's so little reactor remaining, it does not have a way to uh, target it. F1, F8. Yeah, it says I have 33% of my reactor remaining. How on earth? It's even letting me drive. Oh, well, let me shoot. <laughs> huh. That's strange. I don't understand it, but I guess that's all right. Because even without power, this thing, or without actually going neutral, this thing is dead in the water. Huh. 
Anyway, we should probably do something productive today. Wow, that's impressive. I was like looking at the damage of ships in Starmaid. The captain's office? I think this was the captain's office. Captain's quarters. Yep, captain's office. Well, the captain... Well, he wouldn't have lived. He would have been sucked out into the vacuum of space when the ship was shot in half. Oh, I never finished uh, doing the systems room. Need to finish prettying that up. I had lots of little, little tiny projects on the frigate I wasn't done with that I really need to go back and finish. Huh. But we're building a bomber now. Well, no, right now we're looking at uh, damage to... Uh, to a uh, frigate. But let's see. Let's hop into this ship. There we go. So if I wanted to make a ship that basically made that big of a hole, I would have to dedicate at least this much system space to the weapon system. That is, 1 million power, enough stabilization at this range, to sustain a million power at 30%, I think, 32%. Touch of thrusters, these are thrusters, so this is just to move the thing. And 50,000 modules of missiles and two computers. So this is not a tiny little unit. And I want my actual bomber to be quite a bit smaller than this, but I thought I'd do an overkill bomb because reasons. Oh, all right, I'll shoot it one more time. I know you want me to. Ooh, let's see, what about right there? And bombs away. Let's see, it's splash damage still up. I guess not. Ooh. Yeah. Now, you might be thinking, wow, that's super duper overpowered. Well, yes, well, I'm also using this enormous ship. And there are a few other downsides. What is that? Is that a pirate base? Might be a pirate base. Anyway, there are a few other downsides to using bomb. First of all, you have to aim the rotten thing. Because uh, I doubt very seriously that a real combatant would sit here and let me bomb it but six times. Uh, just sit here nicely and say, oh yes, yes, I will soak that damage up. Uh, they'll probably maneuver. And as long as you just get out of the way of the bomb, you can't have a smart bomb. It it doesn't matter. You're, you've avoided it, unless you're dumb and run back into it. Boop. <laughs> I don't know why that brings me joy, but it does. Well, to go to the floor of the hangar, and the wall of the hangar, and three other walls of the hangar. Huh. Little people just walk right into my hangar now. Terrible. Anyway, uh, so you can build one of these and do this damage, but, oh, let's, let's actually take a look. We have a few minutes. Uh, while you charge... I am going to turn on God Mode, GWS 608. True. And let's spawn in, add, um, Zoid. Let's pull this out so I can actually see it. Uh, let's add the frigate. I just spell frigate. It's going to be a bad guy. And there's going to be one of them. Oh. So he can't kill me because I've got mode on. Alright, so let's get moving here. It shouldn't be able to kill me. Yeah, it's not doing anything. Alright, first off, my problem is I've already been disintegrated 12 times over. My second problem is pew pew. 
in the time it takes that to... I don't even see where the bomb fired. Yeah. Don't even see where it launched. And let me break. Oh, the frigate's not moving. Okay. Let's see. Well, it is kind of rotating there. It's going to make shooting it very difficult. Right, let's launch another one. I may have run into that bomb. Come on. The first one. And that's another danger. Uh, not doing it quite right and running into itself. Wow, look at the armament on this thing. Hmm. All right. Commencing bombing run now. See, let's fire and pull off. I believe it was shot down. I thought I saw it. Yep. That's the streak of where it was going. It was shot down. So you have to get really, really close. And, yeah. And use your own momentum and all that. So this is not a particularly good ship to ship. It's going to be great on a station or, I guess, maybe the Dreadnought. Something moves much slower. But the Dreadnought has substantial more firepower. Yeah, all right, anyway. We've gone on long enough. I made a big bomb. I'm happy. I like big bombs. I cannot lie. I have been JW608. This has been Starmate. And next time, we'll go back to actually being productive. Although this was fun. Oh, all right. I'll bomb it one more time. Close range. Point blank. E. It was a dud. Since it wasn't activated, it takes three seconds to become active after fire. Well, fooey.